I got nothing. There's no vlog. But I did go to BH today and I got podcast gear. So it looks like, uh, I mean, I've been thinking about it for quite some time. I'm gonna start a podcast. And it's gonna be a little different than from my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'm hoping it really brings uh, a different type of perspective to the content that I wanna be producing. And I think I'm gonna be doing this with my roommate as well. More to come on that. But uh, just to go back to the previous vlog when I was saying uh, how I document everything. So, uh, ah, shit. so I'm just documenting and then I'm creating the story later on. Quite a busy August, I'm not gonna lie. I think I've been in the city about three times this month. You know, I've been really behind the computer and just like meetings after meetings and after meetings and just creating content back and forth. So with that said, let's just go back to a few days where I've actually uh, recorded some of the content. I just wanna give you some context, maybe a little add of a summary of what the meeting was about. Just to give you an idea of like, look, I'm not <laughs> here to say, uh, you know, put out videos like I did in my previous video and say, hey, I'm recording everything without actually like, showing you more of what I'm actually doing so you understand it. So it's just more of, uh, I guess this is uh, more in depth. Let's start by going back about two weeks ago. Teddy. Hey, Sean. hey what's up, man? Uh, yeah, I'm almost done with the storyboard. I'll send it. Awesome. All right, so before that, okay, that's cool. All right, you're going to doing that. All right, so that day it was just Skype after Skype after Skype. I discussed uh, storyboarding for some of uh, my Instagram accounts and just also how to research new ideas that are able to gain user attention. I always try to, when I'm uh, you know, teaching uh, new hires, I always say like, put yourself in the user's shoes. Like, just think you're a human being, right? You're looking at Instagram. How are you looking at it? How are you consuming information? What is actually stopping you from pressing that hold button when you're looking at Instagram stories? You have to use Instagram. Like, if you're not using Instagram and Facebook daily, like, when you're taking a shit and like looking at stories and seeing like what is like really, like, you're doing it. I know, because you're sending me links and I like that. I see that. Uh, you're watching yeah. things. What, what gets your attention? That's very, very important in this business because when you're looking at content, what is grabbing your attention? How are you actually yeah. looking through them? I always look for things like that. Like what gets my attention? What captures another person's attention? What makes someone share a piece of content? 100%, no, no. If we're going to do something with her, she has 352,000 followers, we definitely want to do a giveaway. This one's actually a really good piece of content. Safavia has been one of my first and long-term clients. I've been working with them since day one. Chris here is, he basically overlooks a lot of the social media side. So I work with him directly, as well as a few other people at Safavia. So here is where Chris is introduced to a, uh, an influencer that he is asking me in regards to, hey, if we give a product, this product way, it's gonna be really expensive, but is it worth the collaboration based on her engagement. With influencers that we only use like, you know, every other month, I, I tell them to do a giveaway because we'll get more followers. Recently we did it with this girl I don't know if you're familiar with her or you've seen her thing. So we've done that with her and it worked pretty well. And I usually give a few guidelines here and there what I expect from return. How can we get the most uh, awareness for that piece of content? You know, I've seen so many influencers just post, right? Just post a picture like, oh, thanks for this product. That's it. People will forget in a second. So I like to come up with strategic ways of uh, coming up with campaigns that work effectively with the influencer and the brand as well. All right, let's go, let's go. Guys, it's not just fun and games, I'm telling you, but uh, I, I really just wanted to show you, share you some details. Oh, but the, at least the fun part is I did go to Montauk this weekend. This is what a $600, $700 weekend in the Hamptons gets you per person. And I was supposed to do a vlog on that. $700. That didn't. Seven, zero, zero. Didn't get to complete that vlog. I didn't get as much footage as I wanted, but at least I got the trip going there. Other good news, remember that franchise video? The Desi, how's the franchise video doing? Build it! Hands down, the best video you've ever made. Well, it's doing good. It's a lot of shares so far. Yeah. We've been running for one week. We spent how much? 
100 bucks on it? 100 so far. $100, we've generated probably 25 leads. After opening seven corporate stores with another eight in development, our goal is to focus on franchising. We're looking to award 100 franchises in all the major markets across the country over the next year. That's good news. Uh, that's about it. So again, you saw some of the behind the scenes. Again, it's not a vlog. No, it is. It's just showing you not much of the B-rolls, or maybe some B-rolls, but uh, just the grunt, I call this. Right, Desi? The majority of the time. We're working, baby. All fucking day. All fucking day, all fucking night. Just another night. All right, peace.